What is going on guys DBG here and in this video we are going to be talking uh, well not talking about we're going to be doing a gameplay of Brandon Roy Brandon freaking Roy lads so this guy is one of the free cards and he is one of the grinding cards in this game like you obviously have to grind for Brandon Roy unfortunately it is not a case of just being able to get Brandon Roy for free without any grinding because let's be real it's not it's too early in the year for 2k to be giving out cards like this completely free however however it's a bit of a grind but there's no time limit on the grinds you can take as long as you need whether you're doing it the way most people are going for brand roy or wes on sales and trying to pick which one's the best and then maybe going for wall whether you're just picking i know a lot of people are just doing wes on sale not even going for wall i know some people are going for brandon roy and not even for wall because they like wall and I also know other people who are doing what I'm doing and just playing all the freaking first challenges and all the different ones, which is the dumbest thing ever. The way you should go about it, pick the cards you want, pick whatever cards you want and start with them. If you guys want to go for a Brandon Roy, do all the Roy ones first. If you want to go for an Uncell one, do all the Uncell ones first. But one thing I will say is that if you don't want to get either of them and you just want a specific cards, just do all the specific card ones. What I basically did on my one is I did all of the pro challenges. I did all the first challenges first one. Then I'm going to do all the second challenges. It doesn't make a difference in the grand scheme of things. But it's just a lot more demor It's just a lot more mentally demoralizing. That's the only way I can describe it. It is just, it's just demoralizing mentally. It's not like it's more difficult. It's not like it takes any extra time because it doesn't. It's just demoralizing. But anyway, let's go on the Brandon Roy stats. I don't like the way there's no filter on these players. So like the play these the card art doesn't look the greatest, but it is what it is 26 golds so 26 26 half 29 golds a little bit worse than unsell who has 29 halves and 35 golds if i'm not mistaken um he has got catch and shoot clamps hard crusher contact finisher showtime handles for days um dead eye flexible hot star ice and veins range extender volume shooter as well as 29 gold badges including hot zen hunter slippery off ball and lob city passer he has got 99 or close to a 99 mid range anyway 99 96 three ball reckons probably a 96 midi he has also got 97 driving dunk he has got 96 ball handle 87 passing accuracy 92 steel 90 perimeter defense 80 interior defense 95 speed 94 probably speed ball 95 acceleration and 98 lateral quickness funnily enough like his stats are better than tracy mcgrady he doesn't have the build of t-mac i will say that right now he does not have the build of tracy mcgrady so he's not going to be T-Mac. But if we're looking just pure stats-wise, where he's a little bit better shooter, a little bit better block, um, and around the same speed. So they're very, very similar cards. And they, and by similar, I mean they've got the same animations. Like Brandon Roy and Tracy McGrady literally, literally have the exact same animations in-game. So it's a very, very... Uh, it's a very, very kind of strange thing. Um... With what 2K have done, they basically made one of them the other one. So, the good old camera change. But, pro one behind the back, or escape, sorry, which is, re this is really good on next gen. You get so much space on this one on next gen, you don't on current. But, um, yeah, forgot to turn vibration off. So many things we are just like, um, just not really used to right now. Or not really used to, um, when you're normally playing. But uh, yeah, so release, it's, it's T-Max. Like it's literally, it's T-Max release. It is Tracy McGrady release. It's Tracy, like everything's T-Max. Like imagine T-Max. You're expecting me to say you bought something else. Just imagine T-Max. That's literally it. Like, But um, yeah, so Tracy McGrady base again. Obviously, that is the, that's not even a burst. I was like, oh, well, I just burst. I was like, no, that's not even an attempt at a burst. There we go. Like he can still burst out of that. I reckon he is just a poor man's T-Mac. He really is. And not even a poor man's T-Mac. He's a grindable T-Mac. I think that's probably the uh, the best way to describe him. He is a grindable Opal Tracy McGrady. Doesn't quite the length of T-Mac. T-Mac's length is what really separates him. Amazing that elite, elite tier. Like, I'm not going to say he's a cone. But um, he's all he is a cone. To say, like, he's, he's not a cone. At the same time, he's, he is a cone. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, this Brandon Roy, though, he's still going to be great. He's still going to be absolutely, absolutely great. So, anyway, yeah. Now it's just Grimm and 3. And, come on. 
Now let's get on to the game. So Roy, obviously a card that is... That is um, gonna be great. Like, is he gonna be better than Unselt? I'll probably tell you guys in another video later today. Wink. Um, but yeah, I think they're both incredible cards. Like, there is no question about it. They're both incredible cards. So we got... Ooh, this is a nice team. This is a really nice team. But, um... Yeah, so... Doncic, Roy, Jokic, that's pretty good. But, like, this is the first time, like, last year, remember we got the Ingram card into Siakam? Like, Siakam was all right. Ingram wasn't. Remember we got those two guys for complete and current, and, like, neither of them were as good as Cam Reddish. Like, this year, like, it's very obvious that Roy and Unsell are way better. And then, then John Wall. I still think Unsell might be a step above, but John Wall could be. Ooh, this is the all... If this guy had... Like a, a Luca or something instead of Gilbert, or even if you put in like Mitchell Robinson, this would be like a team. This would be like first team all card art. I like Jared Allen and I really like Pat Beverly. You guys know how much I like that Pat Beverly card art. All right, come on, Pat Bev's trying to guard him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's why I don't. That's an early. He just hit that. Brandon Roy hit that. That was really bad by me. I don't know what I was doing there. My thing. I think. I do know what I was doing. My finger literally slipped. Quick stop. Oh, yeah. Look at that from Brandon Roy right there. Out right, there, quick stopping at the basket. All right, let's see what this guy has in him. Nice dunk there with Gilbert. Actually, I think Gilbert Arenas has TT offline. He has challenges. He's agendas, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We didn't even need the quick stop. Oh, he missed. That's fine. That's fine. We're all good. We're all good right here. Let's drop back. Deny corner. Unlucky. Unlucky. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, did he just pull off that? Oh, come on. Hit him with the behind the back. Oh. Oh, yeah. Quick stop. Quick stop or slow stop. We dribbled way too long there. That's wide open. And that is a make off the catch and shoot three. Good shot. And Trey Burke base. I like Trey Burke base on next gen. I love Trey Burke base on current gen. I get I like it on next gen big time, but it's just better on current gen. Oh, 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 oh. He snapped his ankles. He snapped his ankles and then went and green the limitless raise three point shot. <laughs> he snapped his ankles. Also, I think he needs 10 points. I'm going to give him 10 points to go for Arenas. I'm going to let him get his 10. But, uh, oh my god. He just snapped his ankles. And Brandon Roy comes right down and whites another three-pointer. Oh, what a move right there. And he didn't even do anything. He, like, snapped his ankles on a hesitation. He snapped his ankles on a hesitation right there. This dude's not even playing anymore. This dude is gone AFK. He's just too OP. He's forced our opponent here to go AFK, which is the most annoying thing in the game. Just make sure we green our next two shots, basically. That is the one thing we have to do. We have to green our next two shots. Oh, no. I'll let him shoot. I'm going to let him shoot. Annie. He AFKs into a shot clock violation. Really? Really? Oh, wide open. That's green. That's green. That's Trey Burke base. That's Brandon freaking Roy. That's Trey Burke base, man. Know what you're getting yourself into. He just pulled that. He needs steals. I'm pretty confident he needs steals with Pat Bev. And that's his bad. I should have let him. I should have let him shoot that. It's my fault. His bad sportsmanship there. And that is a full bar, is it? Nope, it's in. Big shot there by Brandon Roy. Oh man, this Brandon Roy card. He's a. Uh, Again, sometimes when I say a card, it's like, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but whatever it is, Brandon Roy has it. He's literally, he just feels like T-Mac. Except, he moves, I'm not going to say he moves better, because I haven't used T-Mac enough on current gen to say, to, to give that opinion. But he feels so like T-Mac. He's basically the same card as Tracy McGrady. Which is a big thing. Which is an actual big thing. Because, like... We all know how great Tracy McGrady is. 
Let's see if I can get this guy in RJ Hampton. As a thank you. As a thank you for letting me use the account. Come on, stay stay left. We're, in, we're actually in really good position. We're in, no, we're not in good position. We've missed it. We've missed it. We've missed it. Ah, that's annoying. We were in our right position there. This is literally just a guess. Like, these corner spots are nearly impossible. The way the pegs are placed, it's nearly impossible to hit that corner spot. Like, I missed 26 in a row for Killian Hayes last week. I literally missed 26 in a row. Like, you don't. You do not understand how hard it is to hit the corners. Which is a mad one, because, like, you'd be thinking, it's like, it shouldn't be this bad. But, like, the only like the only way people are getting this reward is by doing the, um, the TTO glitch, where they, like... Um, where they will back out of the board one ball drop remaining and restart their system. But I don't know if uh, this guy wants me doing that, so we're just going to unfortunately miss out on him four times in a row. I don't know if this was a chance where a fifth one's a charm. I don't know if this is an opportunity. Okay, fifth time's a charm. I probably should have backed out on him, honestly. I should have backed out for him. I don't know if he wants me to do it, but I should have done it anyway. Should have done it anyway. To give him another chance. Oh, no! We hit the edge! I'm, I apologize. I apologize. Giving you, getting you that card on an original owner um, could have been huge. I do profusely apologize. Um, Mr. Many Letters. Man of Many Letters. But Brandon Roy, man. First of all, pro tip. Brandon Roy at the two, Dishinger at the three. That's that's the way to go. But um, B-Roy is insane, lads. He is insane. His jumper is really nice. His handle is nice. His release is nice. Like, there is no wrong option. Like, there really is no wrong option. I'm going to say it now. Like, go for whoever you want between him and Unselt. Like, I'll be talking a little bit about um, the cards, which I would go for depending on what you need. Having used basically all of the cards on the way, he is he's, he's fantastic. Brandon Roy is absolutely fantastic, lads. There is, no, um, there is no denying how great this card is. One of the best. The guy, he is one of the best cards in this game right now. And to say otherwise is just purely lying. He's a top 15 card. If you like Tracy McGrady, you're going to love Brandon Roy. He doesn't quite have the length of T-Mac. He's not quite as good as T-Mac. I will say that. He is not quite as good as T-Mac. But the guy is grindable. I'm not even going to say... Oh, I'm going to say in the title he's free, but he is quite quite a substantial grind. But if you're looking to knock out... If you're honestly looking to knock out like an hour or two a day, you can get this card in in a week. It's really not as long as last year's Spotlight Sims. Is it an easy card to get if you're trying to get him today? No. Like, I would not advise anyone to replicate what I've done right now. Like, like I've slept one hour in the past, like, two days. I wouldn't suggest anyone to replicate it, but um, I'm obviously not just a content creator. I am a psychopath, apparently. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. Great, great card, though. Great, great card. So, anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.